Hello and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new here. Today I'm going to be going over all of my wedding venues in depth. So if you don't know me, um, I have a legacy stream over on Twitch Tuesday through Friday. Tuesday we usually build something which almost is always a wedding venue. <laughs> um, and then Wednesday through Friday, I story tell my family's story. And so um, we're heading into Gen 12. So we've had a lot of weddings, um, a lot of parties and babies and all kinds of stuff. So I wanted to kind of compile everything together and show you all of my wedding venues and some of my favorite dress creators. Um, all of the links will be in the description box below. And I will also link you my Tumblr post that is a little bit more in depth where I go over um, dresses, veils, suits, um, poses, all kinds of stuff. So if you want to get a little bit extra, um, I will add that as well. Okay, so the first venue we're gonna go over is the Royal Oaks venue. Um, this was actually built when the um, wet, My Wedding Stories came out. And so this has absolutely no custom content. This is the only wedding venue I ever built that has no CC. Um, so you can get it on the gallery under my EA ID, which is Plumbelina and you'll be able to put it into your game and you won't have any custom content. So let's take a look at this um, build. So over here, and I'm really, really big on pictures. Um, so my biggest thing is all of my venues are gonna have a picture spot. So over here is the dance floor and then right here is where you would have your pictures. So as you can see, you'd have the bride and groom or the wedding party or whoever stand right here and um, take pictures so we have that um, right here like I said is the dance floor and then um, over here is we have our restroom here and a lovely fountain so when you walk in you can either go down this way for the ceremony site or over here to the right for the reception so this is the ceremony site and as you can see we have a long procession down to the end and I kind of made this a little bit custom um, because I wasn't really the biggest fan of of how this uh, pedestal looked or pedestal or archway, whatever you call it. Some people call it some different things. So anyways, I wasn't too crazy about how it looked. And so I kind of um, changed it up a little bit and I added tons and tons of flowers. And then we have our black and white curtains and you can also take really beautiful pictures from this angle. So if you kind of come in and then I just put on my depth of field for my uh, G shade and Look at that, look at that beautiful photo. So always, always have a big photo opportunity in every single one of my venues. Um, this one over here is the reception space. So if you kind of come over here, we've got the bridal table and then we've got a bunch of the um, rest of the tables for everybody else. And there's a spot for the wedding cakes and food. And we've got a nice big, beautiful chandelier right here. And then back here is like the little bar area. I kind of built this bar into the ruins. I wanted to use a lot of these ruins. Um, <clears throat> so that way it just has kind of like a very romantic, almost like a Tuscan Italian type feel. And so I wanted to include all of that. And of course we've got these beautiful trees and as always, tons and tons and tons of flowers. You're gonna see that theme run through all of these venues. Okay, so speaking of flowers, this venue is the Blossoming Meadows venue. Um, this one took me forever to do, and it's because of all of the flowers. So as you can see, we have this space here um, where you walk up into the ceremony site, and I had to put all of these rocks everywhere. I had flowers growing and falling through the rocks um, up on the top. Down here we have a pond. And then um, if you come over here, this is the very, very intimate, cozy, small um, reception site. This is also put in Glimmerbrook. Um, you don't have to put it in Glimmerbrook, but I just did it for here because um, I had this, I built this specifically for um, one of my legacy couples. So this is in Glimmerbrook, like I said, and then up here is a perfect spot for photos. So this area right here is stunning for pictures. Also, my MXAO does a little bit of a weird thing with this lot for some reason. I think it's just 
Glimmer Brook in general. Um, so anyways, here is the ceremony site and I wanted to make it kind of like a Sleeping Beauty's cottage or like a little, just a very small, sweet little romantic spot. So here it is inside, very small, very cozy, very, very romantic. Um, and as always with all of my CC builds, everything is always included. So once you get this on my Patreon, you pop it into your game and it'll look just like this. The only thing is over here, I think this tends to get a little bit wonky sometimes. Sometimes Sims get stuck, so you might have to just teleport them out, but you know what? It's just for the photos, so it doesn't even matter. Okay, now this venue is my Tuscan inspired villa and this one was a beast. I had the plan to actually make it into kind of like a vineyard inspired um, Italian venue and it turned into this. So I hand placed 600 plants, um, which again, I'm crazy and flowers are just everything to me. So this build, was absolutely insane. Um, I had the vision to have a build for a venue that would have both an area for the groom or for the bride or whoever um, to get ready. And so I built this with that in mind. So as you can see, here is the um, ceremony site. So you walk in this way and then you walk right up to uh, the altar and then we have some nice little chairs here with some benches kind of switched between the two and then over here we have some little walkways like everything is just extremely detailed i put an insane amount of detail into this build um like i said i didn't plan on that but it just kind of evolved into it um so over here we have the um one room to get ready and so i just made a very simple little space for someone to get ready in front of the mirror maybe to sit here and just like chat this is perfect for pictures um if you have any getting ready poses um over here is another space where you can either pretend to sit and like do their makeup or you know put Putting their dress on or whatever and over here this area right here is a perfect spot for photos so this is beautiful for um pictures and just the background like if you do the depth of field and you have this beautiful space um, in the front to take pictures it's gorgeous back here is a boat um, just for decoration funny story we actually <laughs> i had put a bridge here a debug bridge and it would not go away and i did everything i tried tool i did everything and it wouldn't go away so we had to actually lower it down into the bottom of this build and so like if you look really closely you can see it but it's just funny because it, it just wouldn't leave um so here's a pond we have a nice little area here for um just like you know aesthetic purposes nice little backdrop and here's where you walk in um, here's another space to walk in and then here's a great uh, another great place to take photos this is a big fountain um, and then if you walk through here and you walk through these ruins and kind of turn this way um, you have the reception side over here and then you have the dance floor here um, so as you can see, every single space is just absolutely covered with overflowing flowers. Here's the reception um, tent. I personally love this tent. This is probably, I would probably put this as my favorite wedding venue that I ever did. Um, it just came together exactly as I wanted it to. And I just love it. I, I mean, I, I love it. It's, it's definitely my favorite. And then here is another space that you can take photos. So if you have it like this and you have um, the couple like underneath here with the awnings and stuff, it's just, it's so romantic and so dreamy. You could take it like from this angle. I mean, you know, put the roof up here. There's all kinds of things you can do. Um, over here is just like a little walkway. And I believe this is the restroom back here, I think. Yeah, this is the bathroom back here. So all of this is all enclosed in rocks and ruins and just, it makes it look like you're totally transported um, to Italy. 
Okay, before we go into this build, I just wanted to show you how insanely overgrown this is. This is our Fairly Ever After wedding venue. Um, this is insane. Just wait. Okay, so this venue actually started off with inspiration from the Twilight wedding venue. Um, I was originally going to be doing that. And then like my Tuscan venue, this just kind of evolved into this crazy overgrown um, venue. And so what happened was I started out with tooling flowers upside down. So I wanted these flowers to kind of drop from the top. And then I just grabbed the ivy and I just went crazy. So as you can see, so for this, you're going to see these fireflies because obviously we're in build mode, but when you're in live mode um, or live mode, however you say it, uh, these will all be either swans, fireflies, or I th think that might have been it. I think that's all that I put in there. But so this is the walkway. This is where you come in. And as you can see, everything is just super overgrown and beautiful and very, very, very magical. This is a perfect spot for any of your occult sims to get married. Um, I actually had some fairies in my legacy family that got married here. So it's just, it's very magical. Um, here is the ceremony site. So as you can see, everything is tooled upside down on the top to kind of have the flowers, you know, come from the, um, the top of the ivy. And so here's all the ivy was all tooled. Everything was tooled so that it goes upside down. Here we have um, where you walk down the aisle and then we have all the flowers down here. We've got flowers back here. And then here's where everybody sits to watch the ceremony. And this, okay, this piece of CC is amazing. This is by um, Natalia Al Alvatore, I think is how you say it. And it's like a ray of sunlight. And so I wanted to add this effect that like sun is coming through the ivy. And so I have it on this side and I think I put it somewhere over here. I don't remember, um, but it just adds this little bit of beauty that kind of comes through the ivy as you know, you're maybe walking down the aisle or people are sitting down or something. It's also very beautiful at night. So we have all these twinkling lights and you've got these candles. It's just, it's so romantic. And that is always, always, always what I build everything upon is I am so in love with love and romance and weddings. And this is just my heart. So I put a lot into these. Um, over here is where we have the kind of like the little reception area. So we have the bar and we have the space where um, you, I also added this um, ravishing cake box so you can grab a wedding cake and put it right here. You can have um, food here. Here's some reception uh, tables. And then we have this little table here that I thought was really fun. I kind of made it almost like a little tea party, sort of Alice in Wonderland themed, which is one of my favorite um, movies and poems, or I'm sorry, books. And um, so all of this is kind of, you know, based upon that. And then here we have the bride and groom table and here is where we have our photo op. So the ceremony site is perfect for photos, but I also did a little photo drop back here. So you can have your sim stand right in front of these flowers and take the most beautiful pictures. And then when it's nighttime and you have these little fireflies um, flying around and you've got these little lanterns in the trees, everything is just beautiful. I promise you, if you have a, have your sims get married here, you won't want to leave. Okay, now I'm gonna take you to the beach. So the first wedding venue we have is in Sulani and this is the Seabrook venue. And I wanted to build something kind of small and simple, but still very sweet and beautiful. And I just had this vision of having the aisle really, really, really long down the water. And the end of the ceremony site was kind of overlooking the water. So that's what I built first. And then I kind of just built this around it. So this is the reception site here. And then we have just ignore this because it says that it's for, I, I made this residential on accident, but 
it won't come with a mailbox. Um, so this is the uh, ceremony, I'm sorry, reception site. And then we have the bar and this little area to have food and everything. And then um, this is the dance floor. Everything is fully functional. Everything works in all of my builds. Um, I play test all of them. And so here's one space you can take pictures in front of here with the beach behind you. And then you can also take pictures here. Um, it just gives like a little bit of the ceremony side in the back. And then you have um, the pictures in the front of this kind of like little archway with the curtain. And then here is the aisle. So as you can see, we're gonna walk through this aisle you know, pretend we're walking down the aisle. So this all works perfectly. There are two aisles, so you will have to have your sim do both aisles, um, you know, when they're walking down. But as you get to the end of the ceremony site, you have this beautiful space where you can have your sim get married. And then we have all of these candles all behind the, um, the altar. I keep saying altar arch. I don't know, whatever, where you get married, you know what I mean. Um, and then here are um, some chairs of people that your Sims can sit and, you know, let's be honest though, nobody sits at weddings. So like, you'll probably have them just standing here or in the aisle or whatever. Um, and then here it is at night. So I wanna show you at night and just look at all, look at these candles and how they show like, it looks so beautiful. Trust me, I have pictures um, at both at night and in the morning. Um, sunset is beautiful here because as you're standing here, and let's say it's like it's sunset. Look at this, like absolutely beautiful. The sun, the way that they did the colors in Sulani are just phenomenal. So this is the, um, the venue and let's go over to Tartosa. Okay, now we're in Tartosa and this is the dreamy beach venue. So I had seen um, a beach wedding that had this beautiful kind of circle space where um, they had the ceremony site and I really, really loved it and I wanted to do that in some way. And so I thought, you know, why not do it on the beach? and um kind of and then i sort of built everything around this center focus of this um circular space so this is the space here so this all works here you come down from the aisle you come down right here and then as you walk down here come all the way over here and then you have this beautiful kind of circular I want to say like it's almost seems like a pedestal but not not elevated but you know it's just this is the center focus and so here is where the, you would get married um it is a little bit more simple than the one that we just saw so this actually was built first um and then i built the um the sulani one afterwards but here is the space where um your sims will not sit um this is just for aesthetic purposes because you know like I said, Sims don't sit at weddings. Uh, here is a spot for um, just to like chill and relax. We've got a cute little fire pit and we've got some nice little chairs. This is a really cool fountain. I actually put this all together because I hated the flowers that were inside of it. So I tried to build something to kind of go with the rest of this build. Um, I also tooled this it, this is actually a bed skirt but i tooled it to go around the bottom of this dance floor because i didn't like how the um, foundation looked and so i changed that and then here is the reception site i really love how this reception site turned out um some of them a little bit more simple but i love this one it has lots of flowers on the table and so we've got your head table here and then the um, reception spaces we've got a nice chandelier here's a space for um like this is for decorative purposes obviously but i thought that you know like this could be where they put the cake or something and then I have a food table um, over here. And then we have the bar. I don't know what, oh, I think I had a swing on here that I don't have anymore. So when you download this, it will be a swing here. It's just, I think I removed it from my mods folder. Um, here is the perfect, the perfect space for photos. So if you have your Sims standing here and you just do a depth of field and your Sims are standing there, 
taking a photo. Like the background is just chef's kiss. Also, every time I say depth of field, that just means that the blur behind my camera. So as you can see, when I take it off, it's sharp and in focus. And then when I put it on, it's just, um, you have the front stuff more in focus. So that is with my preset. Um, I am using my personal preset called Moon Milk, which I will link in the description as well. Um, that is the only one I will ever use. And I'm not saying that to be like snotty. It's just, I've really perfected the colors in it. And so I can't really use anything else because the preset will, it enhances the colors of the game. Like I feel like this is how the game should look in the colors and um, it doesn't change the tone of the overall game. Some of the, some of, some presets do, they, they'll they either add more blue or maybe even like a more red or pink. This is all true to the game's colors. It just kind of enhances it. Also, here's another spot um, to where your Sims can take pictures. And then we have over here, the little bathroom, which is very cute. Some of my venues, I will say, do not have bathrooms, either because they're too small or I just didn't want, it didn't really fit. So not every single one will have it. If that's the case, just cheat their needs and you know, go on your merry way. <laughs> Okay, so now we are in Henford and this is my rustic barn venue. Um, so I wanted to build something that was, that had the reception site outside and then the ceremony inside. So the ceremony is inside of the barn and the reception is out to the left. And then to the right is the, um, the bar area. And then we have the space for dancing over here. So here's the little dance area. And then if you come over here, we've got this perfect spot for photos. So I have a whole little photo op right here. And then this is also a great spot for photos. Um, you can take, honestly, this place probably has, if not the most photo ops, um, cause just of how lush everything is around it. This one and probably the Tuscan, Okay, I take that back. This one, Tuscan and Fairly Ever After probably have everywhere you could take a picture and you don't have to stand in like a specific spot. Um, so then we have a little pond back here and a decorative bridge. And then here is our reception spot. So here we have the head table over here and then we have the reception spaces and then this area for food. And then here is the bar with like a little tent. You can kind of try to make like a little kind of man-made tent sort of thing. Also, this will prevent your Sim from going into the door. Um, my Sims, for some reason it worked and then it didn't. So I don't know if something changed or what, but just so you know, if you do download this, you will have to either remove this or move it upward um, for them to get through the door. So here is also, ignore these because I don't have those in my mods folder. So when you get it, you will have it um, if you download it on Patreon. Here is the inside of the reception site. It's just very, very romantic, very sweet, soft, lots of flowers, of course. You have this nice little backdrop with a barn door um, and lots of candles. We have little different benches and some chairs. And I just wanted this to be very rustic and um, simple and sweet. And that's pretty much it. This one is a little bit on the smaller side. Um, I don't think this one has a restroom. It does not. So we have the reception area, bar, dance floor, and then the ceremony site. Okay, now we're in Mount Komarebi, and this is the Hazakura venue. Um, this is probably one of the hardest ones that I had ever done because I don't build in this style. However, my Sims were going to have a wedding um, and at the time and I wanted it to be in Mount Komarebi so bad because that's where they were gonna live and I had never, ever, ever seen a venue here. And so I was like, you know what? I'm gonna tackle it and I'm gonna do it. So this is the venue that I created specifically for them. Um, my family's name at the time it was Nori was marrying Zimri and they were getting married here and it was 
perfection. It turned out exactly like I wanted. So this is where you walk in. This also, this takes over the Hazakura um, lounge. So this is the lot that I put it in. You have this little kind of like meditation area. It's just very serene, very tranquil, very like, I feel like it would be very quiet. Um, and then over here is just a little space that you can kind of like sit and relax. Here is the entrance um, into the actual ceremony site. So if you walk through here, I'm just gonna go down this way. So if you come down here and you go into this space, this is the actual ceremony site. I wanted it to look very traditional, but I didn't want it to be like cheesy or um, over the top. And so I tried to make it simple, but like still stick with a wedding vibe, if that makes sense. Um, I used different chairs and everything. And then um, obviously the different um, decor. And then we have this space to where they get married. Um, here is a perfect photo op space right here where you have this lovely little like pond area. Um, again, this has some, I think, dragonflies in here. And then here is the small little reception spot. So this little area is so cute. It's very intimate and sweet. And you've got the head table here, and then you've got the reception spaces. And it's just this little, like little kind of separate room where you can have the bride and, you know, everybody in here and eat and just like spend time together. And I really wanted to pull the same kind of decor from the ceremony site to the reception site. And that is pretty much it. I know this is small, but I wanted to make it this small little intimate um, wedding space for your Sims to just enjoy the beauty of Mount Komorebi. Okay, so here we are in Brindleton, and this venue is called the Harbor Club. Um, my sweet friend and mod Minnie told me about this uh, lot right here, and she was saying about how this is so pretty, but it's like not used. And there's this random like wedding arch over here, so I guess your sons can get married here, but it's just such a weird um, thing, but it's very, very nice. And so she was like, it'd be so pretty to have a wedding venue here and I was like that is a great idea so that's why we built this one um it's very like Rhode Island kind of Martha, Martha's Vineyard type style uh, that's kind of what I was going for I felt like this would be like some expensive club by you know the lake that you have exclusive membership to and then you can have weddings here so that was kind of like my vibe um, so this is the way that you walk in here and then if you come around the side we've got this little space that you can like enjoy maybe some drinks or just to sit and kind of chat and have a little seating area here and then you walk up the these stairs and here is our bar this is my favorite uh, part of this entire build is this blue bar it's a very like Santorini reminds me a lot of Greece and I just love how the colors look I love the blue hydrangeas in the front with the white and it turned out perfect it's I love it so that's the bar space and then also we have over here, let's walk in this way. This is the entrance space. So here we've got this like very classy, romantic um, space that you walk in with this kind of like light blue. It's just a beautiful, it reminds me of very like beachy coastal kind of thing. So here we have a space where you can have presents and then you walk in here and this actually, believe it or not, this space was putting me a little bit at like a loss of what I should put here. I didn't know what this should be because we have our reception space over here. And so I was like, I don't know what to put here. And so I ended up having this be kind of like a little seating area. And then these deco sims, I believe I added them in the build. I'm not hundred percent sure. I think I did. So that way they look like they're playing some music when you're taking pictures. And if you have somebody, you know, on the piano, but here is the ceremony site. So here is where your Sims will walk down the aisle. Let's 
try this again. Okay, this is where your Sims will walk down the aisle here. Um, I tooled the flowers around this semicircle because I hate this green that the Sims uses. So I tried to tool these as best I could to kind of cover it because it's a hideous color in my opinion. Um, and then behind here, you've got this uh, kind of little space with a fountain. So in, uh, we'll just say live live mode, live, love, live, laugh the Sims. Um, you'll see this, you know, going and it's really a nice backdrop while you're um, saying your vows by the window. And so that's this part. And then if you walk over here, here's the restroom. So we do have a restroom in this one. And then here is the reception. So the reason why it's so bright is because there is a glass roof. Um, it looks beautiful like this like look at the light and you've got this beautiful chandelier and then you have this sweet little bar that says toast and you have some um, seating spaces and then you have a little dance floor here and just like a little um, table for some flowers or maybe some gifts and then here's a little spot too where sims can sit and you can also take a picture right here in front of this space that says i do um, i have some pictures that i took like some the pictures on my Patreon for this build. Um, I have it to where they're standing in front of it and it just looks really sweet. So that's pretty much it for this build. Um, this is kind of like a more ritzy, you know, upper class, like, like I said, like some fancy club that you can come and get married. Okay, so now we're in Forgotten Hollow, and if the Tuscan venue was my all-time favorite, this one is so close to the top. It's like that one was a one, this is like a one and a half. This venue is the um, Chapel des Odettes or Chapelle des Odettes, which this was built specifically for my Gen 9. So my Generation 9 was Odette and she married the love of her life, Dacian, which was a vampire. And so I wanted to build something specifically for them because I love them a lot. And I wanted to showcase kind of more of a Gothic type cathedral space because I couldn't see see them getting married at the other venues that I had shown you already. I wanted them to have something very ornate and just like over the top and um, romantic and beautiful. And my favorite type of architecture is Gothic. So I wanted to really hone in on that and build this um, venue for them. So if you walk in this way, here is the front space. This is the ceremony site. And then you have the reception over here. So you come in, oh, I always do that. You come in this way and you walk in here and then here is where you get married. Now this just speaks to my soul. We've got this beautiful red and maroon and black and like the red roses and the candles. And I just, this is my heart. I have two very, very distinct and different styles. I absolutely love modern farmhouse and kind of like, um, that whole style with like a little bit of rustic sort of kind of like restoration hardware. And then my other absolute die hard favorite ever is this Gothic and um, like ornate over the top. So I always say that I'm kind of like a Gothic eclectic builder because I'm always going to have a little bit of that Gothic put into it with just either like an ornate mirror or something like that. So this is the reception site. You've got, um, I tooled this Ivy again, and then you have these beautiful maroon swags that are just gorgeous. You have a bathroom over to the left, and then you have the chandeliers here. And this up here is where they actually um, exchange their vows. So they have to walk up these stairs uh, to exchange the vows up at the top. And I have had the most gorgeous pictures um, right here, uh, either coming down the stairs or right at the bottom of the aisle. They're just phenomenal. Um, and then if you come this way, so if you come out this way, 
and you walk down these stairs. Here is a little spot too that you could take some pictures that will that always turn out really beautiful. Um, and then you have like a pond out here. Here is where you have the reception site. So this space also, I know this is kind of cruel of me to put these mirrors here everywhere when, you know, he was a vampire, but he was a good sport, so it was fine. Uh, you have a bar here and then you have this like little fountain um, for drinks or for chocolate. And we have a little seating area here. And then this is my favorite. We have this table. So what I wanted to do was just do one single long table for the entire party, wedding party, you know, everybody that's going to be here. So it's not like you have these separated tables. I just wanted one long table. So this whole table is for everyone that's going to be at the wedding. And I made it just very unique. I added like, obviously I have the cake and then I have got some little skulls up in here and I have some candles and there's always like a lot of red and maroon and dark colors. And I have this stuff. Whoop, this ivy is getting in my way. Um, this stuff hanging from the top and then you have these, you know, flowers and stuff over to the side and that, I believe that's it. Yes. So I did not put any kind of dance floor or anything like that. Um, just because that wasn't really the vibe I was going for, for them. I did, however, take the most beautiful pictures of them over here, um, in the snow, uh, when they got married and it was just so, so beautiful. So again, this is probably, it's very, very close to the top. It's up there, 1.5. Now this next venue is the glass venue, and this is basically a wedding venue inside of a greenhouse. So this was either right before or right after the greenhouse kit had just come out. And I didn't use any of that because it's EA and it's ugly. So I just wanted to kind of build something off of that idea. And I thought a wedding venue within a whole glass room essentially would be really, really cool. So this venue, is actually in Willow Creek. Um, and it's in one of the residential lots that I just turned into a wedding venue lot. So it's kind of in like a, it seems like a random spot, but the where it is, the pictures look really beautiful. So this is the entrance into the um, ceremony site. And as you can see, I put a ton of wisteria up here. And then I also put these really cute swings. So if you have Sims again, that actually sit at your venue, um, they can sit on these swings and it's really sweet. And also the colors and the lighting in here are gorgeous no matter what time of day. So this is the afternoon. The evening is beautiful. Nighttime is gorgeous morning. This is dark. I mean, you know, but it's morning. I mean, it's very, very early. So usually you'll have a wedding in the afternoon. So this is the um, reception, I'm sorry, the ceremony site. And you've got a little section here for them to sit. And then there's also someone over here that if you want to hire to play the piano. And then here is where you're going to have the most gorgeous photos. So if you look here and if we put up all the walls and everything, this area is perfect for photos. The amount of flowers in this venue, of course, doesn't come close to the Tuscan venue, but this is a lot. And I really love the blues and purples here. I used a lot of those in this um, venue. I didn't want to do too many whites because that's always what I use. And so I wanted to kind of utilize a different um, tone. So over here is the picturesque spot, of course. So we have our little section where you can take pictures and um, this is specifically for photos. The other one is, I mean, the other spots are just like, they're just really nice to take anyways because the background is really pretty. Here we've got a little arch and then through here is another archway. This is the reception site. And then in here is the bar. So this is like a cute little, kind of garden bar. I don't know. I was kind of feeling like an indoor outdoor space. Um, I love all the windows and all the openness and the light, like the light is just amazing. It's my favorite. Um, over here is this little tiny bar section. I don't think it's functional. I don't think a Sim can use it. Um, I mean, this bar is functional, but I'm saying how it's set up. I don't think they can use it just because of where the chairs are. 
but it's just for a little um, ambiance. And then here is the reception site. So you have the DJ booth and the dance floor, and then you've got a couple tables and the head table here, and then the area for the cakes. And I did, I believe I added a cake box here. Maybe I didn't. I'm giving you false information. I thought I did. I probably did, but I might have accidentally deleted it before I dropped or after I dropped in this lot. I don't know. Anyways, um, if not, just go and grab that mod. Um, it's the Cake in a Box by Ravishing. And then you can just pop a wedding cake in here um, wherever you want. And so that is pretty much this entire space. This venue is the Meadow Falls venue. Um, so as you can see, this is a kind of a smaller build. This is in Henford, and this is the lot that's on the very top kind of left side of the map. Um, I believe it's 30 by 20, so it is small, but I wanted the venue to be small, kind of like a tea party type setting where it's just all outdoors, and then you have this beautiful waterfall in the background um, when you say your vows. So as you can see too, the views um, from this way are gorgeous. So like, I love how you can see all of this. You can even see my little rustic barn all the way in the back. And just the views are just heavenly. So. If you come through this way, again, these will have swans and fireflies when we're not in build mode. Um, you come through here to the ceremony site, and then this is where you will walk down the aisle. And as you can see, tons of flowers. Again, do you guys see a theme here? Flowers, candles, you know, the usual, lots of white. Um, so this is where you get married. And then we have this beautiful section of chairs that I love. I love like the cushions along with the chairs. I think it looks really cool. This over here, originally I had the idea to have this as a perfect spot for if you're having a engagement party. So if you're going to have a little engagement get together or some type of, um, maybe even a rehearsal dinner, like a pre-ceremony celebration. This is what I thought that that little space could be. So I wanted it to be like its own little offset to the right of the actual site. And I thought that that would be cute. And then we have the waterfall in the back. This waterfall will run um, when you're in live live mode. Um, so that way, you know, you can see the water running down and it's absolutely beautiful. Here we have a little gazebo. So pictures in here are lovely. You can see this at night. This is lit up beautifully with these little twinkle lights. You've got these floating candles. Um, I just, I love this venue. This one is very intimate and small and beautiful. I built this and had one of my um, Gen 11's siblings live here, or I'm sorry, not live here. They should live here, um, get married here. And it was perfect. I loved it. Looks beautiful. The photos are just breathtaking. So you'll always get beautiful photos in this lot for sure because of all the flowers. Um, here is the reception site. And I just wanted to make it kind of simple. You have the head table and then the smaller tables and the little section for the cake. So I usually try to always do that. So that way you have a spot to put your cake, whether you're bringing it or if you have the cake cake box on the lot and then that's pretty much it this one is small and sweet but it is stunning when you're in here taking pictures okay welcome to the very first and I think might be the only one I don't know I haven't you know I say that but I haven't looked to my knowledge the only wedding venue in the city so this venue I transformed Terendi Tower penthouse into a beautiful classy high-rise wedding venue so I really wanted to build something that um, I kind of was inspired by like Boston and these big cities that have these beautiful venues inside of these giant buildings with high windows and so I wanted to build something like that in The Sims so as you can see, um, I rebuilt this whole, I, I didn't rebuild the whole space. I kind of like fixed the um, layout a little bit and I just made it into a wedding venue. So if you come through here, here is the front space where you walk in and here is where you would like sign the little guest book, maybe put your code in. 
and you have a little space to sit down and there is a bar right here. So here's one of the bars and um, this is using the horse ranch um, barrels. They worked perfectly for this. I just kind of sized them down a little bit with tool. So here's one of the first bars. And then if you walk over here, here is the ceremony site. So this is where you will walk down the aisle and let's do, let's do this way. So you'll walk down the aisle here and you will say your vows in front of these windows with the city as the backdrop. And it's absolutely stunning. Even when you have it, let's say at night and the whole city behind you is lit up. I almost like this venue the most at night. This one and the um, Sulani Beach one, I feel like those two are real, they really, really shine at night. So here is the space where you get married. And then over here is our photo op spot. So we have this space. I have a couple here in this venue. Um, this is one of them where you can stand in front of this sign and you can have the city behind you and the photos look beautiful. I have this little like gift table um, for the couple. And then the back here, we've got some mirrors um, just to make this space look bigger. And then if you come through here, here is the reception site. So we have, this is a very big space. So we've got a lot of tables. We've got a head table here. We've got our food table, got some speakers, a big dance floor and a piano and like a little um, raised up area for um, musicians. And then over here is kind of like just a little seating area, I would call it. I've got a nice little fireplace and a shelf unit just kind of like sit here and relax we've got two restrooms here and um, out here we have a fountain with some swans and some little shooting um, water spouts that are really pretty and then up here um, oh and we also have these light fixtures that will come down uh, into the venue from the second floor and then outside we have another bar. So here's another big bar full of flowers and we've got some little spaces to sit and just relax outside. We've got another dance floor. So again, the pictures here will just be beautiful with the, um, the city in the backdrop. We have a little seating space here. And then here's our second photo op. So here's our second space to take pictures. It's dedicated to taking pictures. So when you have your couple standing in underneath this tent, you have all of this behind you. And just like the hills and the blue and the clouds, it's just really, really beautiful. So this venue is very unique. Um, I really, really enjoyed building this. I had this idea for such a long time and finally getting it out into the Sims world was very, very rewarding. Okay, so this next venue is actually not a venue at all. This is a bridal shop. And I wanted to mention this because I, obviously it goes with weddings and for my storytelling purposes, I will, I really love the idea of having my Sims go somewhere to find and buy their wedding dress or their suit. And I just wanted even a prom dress. We just did that for Gen 12. She went here and bought her prom dress with her mom and her aunt, and it was just really special. And it just makes your level of gameplay a little bit more realistic. So this is called the bridal shop in the city. This is in Tartosa and it is just really bright and happy and it has a coffee shop included. Um, we have our little flower station. We have a space for um, cakes and then there's even like a little market stall. So for this, um, I wanted to build Basically, this building right here is functional. The rest of these over here are from Debug, and then this building right here is functional. And I wanted to make these Debug buildings look like we have this bridal shop placed within this little city, and people might live here, or maybe they work here. And I just wanted to make it really, really sweet and, um, cozy and so this one over here is our little market stall and then we have this baking stall for um ravishing came out with this which is so handy and wonderful and then we have our bridal shop here and then over here we have our coffee shop so let's just kind of go through the coffee shop first so we have these little um kind of like little townhomes, I guess. I tried to make them look as real as possible. Um, up here, even we, I put some laundry and you know, like a little gardening space. And so obviously this is not functional, but it's just for um, visual purposes. 
So then we have this cute little coffee shop down here. Um, it's pretty small, but it's just very quaint and sweet. And I kind of wanted to base this a little bit off of like a French type vibe. That's kind of what I was going for. So you can get coffee here and sit out here and maybe, you know, glance over here at the view while you're drinking your coffee. And then if you come in here, this is the bridal shop. So all of this stuff that I got for the bridal shop is by Ruby Red um, and amazing creator. I love her stuff so much. So a lot of this is from their, um, if not all, I think it's like 90% of hers. And um, so then I have the mannequins here. You can place the um, any kind of you know outfit you want to put on them. They are just at the windows, so you can see back here. And then here's like our little groomsmen section where we've got some suits and some stuff for men. Um, and this with these are by Ravishing, so I thought they were really cute to add in there. And then if you come upstairs, we have another little space where we've got some more dresses. Here is where you try on the dress and you look in the mirror to make sure that you love it. And if you love it and you've picked your dress, you can stand in front of this wall here and take a picture where it says, I said yes. So you can say yes to your dress at this beautiful spot and we've got some little champagne and it just adds like, I don't know, just something a little extra. Um, to your weddings, you know, your wedding ceremonies. Um, here's our little dressing rooms. They're very floral and bright and just fun and happy. And that's pretty much it. So this is um, on my Patreon. Again, all of these are on my Patreon, except for the one, no, actually that's not true. The one without CC is also um, on my Patreon. So again, all the links will be at the bottom. Okay, this last venue I'm gonna show you is the Vineyard venue. This is my most recent build. I just finished um, and I wanted to show this to you. And by the time this video comes out, I don't know if it's available on Patreon yet or if um, it's coming, but it just depends on how long it takes me to edit this video. But um, this venue has been in my brain for so long. This was actually what the Tuscan venue was supposed to be. I wanted it to be a vineyard venue in Tartosa. And that venue, that Tuscan venue just took on a life of its own and did not turn into that. So even though it is my absolute favorite, I still wanted to get out this kind of like rustic vineyard type venue. So I finally finished this and this is the one, um, that you see here. So we have our little vineyard here. Um, I did make these trees because I love the branch of this tree, but I didn't like the uh, the top. So I mushed two together to kind of make them look like uh, grapevines. So we have two ceremony sites in this location. The first ceremony site is outside. So this is the one here. It's just very simple and beautiful. And you've got like I love the brown tones with the white and the green and we've got some candles and it's just lovely. This little space is beautiful. Um, if you come up these stairs to the side, we have a bar up here. So here's our little rustic bar and then you have a bathroom here. We have a little space for um, someone to sit, maybe to have some wine or a cocktail. This is the second ceremony site. So I figured this is like the main one or unless you wanna have kind of more of a simple wedding, you have one out here, but this is the, um, the main venue. So if you come here, and we'll go like this. This is where you get married. And then we have the um, the arch right here. And then you have like a mirror behind it. And I just kind of, you know, this is the hardest thing for me when I'm building wedding venues is I never know what to put behind the arch because it's like, you figure you're gonna be taking a bunch of pictures where your Sims um, exchange their vows. And it's like, I don't just want this slab of wall behind them because if you're trying to take beautiful photos, Maybe the arch looks really nice, but like the background looks stupid. So I always try to put something behind it. And let me tell you, that is the hardest thing to figure out what to do because I never know half the time and I don't just wanna slap some like flowers behind it or something just really easy. So I try to build something pretty that when you take a picture, you have a very pretty uh, backdrop. 
And then if you come out these doors, this is our photo op spot. So I did build this little thing here. Um, you could take photos in front of this, have a nice like little stone wall and some ivy and some beautiful hydrangeas and like a purple color. That I just wanted to use this for people to take um, pictures in front of. Here's the reception spot. It's very small. Um, this says, here's to love in Italian. And then we have our little space for um, cake and everything. And then we have, I, okay, I did include a cake box in here, so that's good. Some of them have them and some of them don't. Um, so this is the reception spot. Like I said, it's small, but it's cute and you know serves our purpose. And then over here is the second bar. This is kind of like an indoor outdoor bar. I wanted to have a spot where you could like sit and almost feel like you're sitting outside and inside. So we have little swings here and then the, um, the space in the back. And it's just really sweet. And I absolutely love this venue. I love where it is. I love the lighting. Um, everything about this is just one of my favorites. It's not my top favorite, but it's definitely up there. Um, before I end the build part of this video, I just also wanted to mention that I did rebuild Oasis Springs um, last year and it's all CC free and included in that is a wedding venue. So I'm not going to go over it because I actually don't have that save file in my game anymore. Um, but if you go to my YouTube, I have a full deep dive of the Oasis Springs save file and you can kind of skip through and I go over that venue in depth so you can go and see it. Um, or if you want to, I don't know, I don't have it on the gallery, so never mind, scratch that. I don't put my save files on the gallery, but if you want to go check it out on YouTube, I have that in there and um, you can go see it all in depth. Okay, the final part of this video, I am gonna be showing you my absolute favorite bridal dress creators. And like I mentioned before, I will be putting the Tumblr post at the bottom that also has a very in-depth um, overhaul of my favorite dresses, veils, suits, poses. It's a whole big thing. Um, but for this, I will show you some of my absolute favorite dress creators. And I will link them below as well. Not the specific dresses, but I will link the creators. And so you can take a look for it them yourself and I hope that you find something that you absolutely love. I hope that my wedding venues can bring you happiness and love and just uplift your gameplay by adding just a big big part of romance. I hope you have I hope you enjoy this video. I'm getting ahead of myself. I hope you enjoy this video. And um, I hope to see you on my Twitch stream. If you don't know, I stream on Twitch Tuesday through Friday um, at 9.30 a.m. CST. And you can always watch any of my VODs. I upload them on YouTube as well. So I hope you are having a wonderful day wherever you are around this big, beautiful world. And I hope to see you in my next video. Bye.